are you doing? What are you doing in my things? I found these pictures of your boyfriend. He's real hung. He must really make you scream. Yeah, he did. That's Mario, my boyfriend before I even knew you. Oh, you're good. You're real good, with a straight face, too. You know, I'm getting real tired of this, George. You left your bra on the counter. Your boyfriend returned it. I left it in the laundry room. The girl from downstairs returned it. Now, you listen to me. I put up with your accusations, your insolence, your disrespect, and I'm fighting to hold on. But if it's one thing I will not again tolerate, it's you violating my private personal things. I respect your privacy. You respect mine. I bet if I had a diary, you would have been reading it. My friends tell me you only married me for your green card. And do you believe them? Should I? You're in your own world right now, George. I can't tell you what you should or shouldn't believe. I don't feel sad for you, though. Well, that makes two of us. Listen, I'm going to go up to Frisco and visit my sister for a couple of weeks. When I get back, we'll see how I feel. Well, you do what you feel is right. So my name's Amber, spelled with a Y, and I'm a Virgo, sign of the Virgin. Go figure. I was born and raised in the Valley, and I usually only date Valley guys because we have so much more in common, but I make an exception on occasion. Now, you were referred by Richard, right? Well, anyway, my favorite band is Loverboy, and my favorite movie of all time, gotta be Waterworld. Favorite book, Hollywood Wives, and like I'm a great dancer. Do you like to dance? No. Well, that's okay. There's tons of other stuff we can do. I'm totally into surfing, Dianetics, numerology, and I'm a strict vegetarian. No dead cow. Now for the things I don't like. I don't like having my hair touched. I don't like having my face touched. And I don't like having to chip in money on dates. And most importantly, God, I have to have my space. If I'm around the same person too much, I go crazy, which is fine, because I move around a lot, because like I have this psycho ex-husband who's stalking me, so we'd only be able to see each other like once every couple of weeks. Most guys can't handle that. Can you? <sighs> well, anyway, most importantly, I will not have sex with a guy unless we've been together for at least three dates. Now, if I really like the guy, then maybe I'll go down on him on a second date, but there has to be like a total love connection spark. So, tell me about you. So, like, I'm not getting any response here. Are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'll tell you what, why don't I try moaning? Some guys get really turned on when I moan. Yeah, sure. Hi. to get your ass kicked? Ready to get yours? If you think you can. I know I can. Then bring it on. All right.
Pete, how you doing? Are you okay? What's going on? Did you fight? What, what's, what's happening? Who won? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll be right down. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Yeah, 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 but did you kick her butt? Well, no, but you should have seen her legs wobbling at the end of the first round, man. It was it was wonderful, Arjan. I loved it. I loved it. Um, <laughs> hey, did you hear that? Damn it. Man, what, what was that? That's a Barbie. You know Barbie. The stripper? Yeah, and she's got this mafia boyfriend that comes over every night, has sex with her, and then beats her up. Lovely. Man, it's, it's never been this bad. It's never been this bad. Well, we gotta do something. He's well, gonna kill her or something. I, I'm gonna call the manager. Like, he'll do anything. Well, he better. I don't drink. That was amazing. God. George, what happened to you? Oh, I was driving up to Frisco and some frickin' Asian cut me off. Hit the railing and rolled the goddamn car. Hey, man, are you okay? Oh, I got lucky. Jesus, I'll say, what about the car? Oh, it's totaled. This hasn't been my week. Well, at least Sylvia would be happy to see you. Well, I hope so. I've been a dick to her lately. Well, good luck. Thanks. Man, this building has the weirdest people.
start off on the right foot. This first film will make or break me. If it's a piece of crap, then I'm done. Who the hell asked you? You're damn lucky I'm a nice guy. I'm giving you one more chance. You blow this, and you're finished. Okay, so what do you got? You know Josh Silver, the producer, right? Yeah, he's big time. He saw your film, and I pitched your script idea. He's interested, and he wants to speak with you. Well, that's great. I'm warning you. I promise you, I will not blow this. I'm very excited. Hold on. I'm going to get him on the line. Right now? Now's as good as ever. I'm putting you on hold. The next voice you'll hear is Silver's. Kiss his ass, and I'll set up a meeting. I really appreciate this, Lair. Thanks. No, 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 no,